Okay, Aquarius, so this is what I'm doing. Um, this reading is for the full moon in Virgo that is happening on the 24th. Um, it's supposed to be a little chaotic, so let's take a look at that. There is a new moon, February 9th, um, that is also supposed to be a little bit turbulent, especially going into Valentine's Day. Not supposed to look too lovely, guys. Um, but I wanted to look at the full moon. I thought that would work. Um, I did just drop like 20 cards on the ground here, so... And yes, I have a washing machine behind me. Um, I was not able to put it outside because I'm not that strong, guys. But it will be moved out as soon as I can. Let's see. For Aquarius. What do we want, Aquarius? Sun, moon, and rising to know. Let's get you an oracle real quick. Hopefully I don't have the issue I had with Gemini. I got them like this really cool oracle and I couldn't find it in the book and it went on for like, they just had to stare at me and look at a book for five minutes. Impasse. So it looks like a lot's going on with you Aquarius, quite a bit. So I'm gonna start actually with this deck for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising for the full moon in Virgo. I see somebody getting a pay raise or some sort of unexpected money. Somebody got a text message that was heartbreaking or sent a text message that's heartbreaking. Aquarius for the full moon. Ooh, judgment's in the reverse and the world is in the reverse and your instincts are in the reverse and you... If you're dealing with a fire sign, they might be going out driving you crazy. You know, you don't know what they're doing. You're, 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 you know, sort of like stuck in this, like, what do I do about it situation? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. There is an insecurity in, on their part and yours. Aquarius for the full moon. You might tell them to hit the road. You might. I don't think you want to, but you might. You may even think about hitting the road. You might be like, you know what? I don't need this kind of shit. Um, you guys may have some sort of codependent relationship as well. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. What else do they need to know for the full moon? You know, what's great about Aquarius is even if you're stuck in your own head, you know, um, you guys just move on well. You know, you just are able to shut out the bullshit and just stay focused. And it is saying here, you might have a little spending spree to make yourself feel better. You might, you know, uh, skip a few days of work or whatever. But it's saying here, you're still going to remain fairly balanced, okay? Aquarius for the full moon. My allergies are killing me, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Aquarius. For the full moon. You are in the reverse over a love connection. Yep. It's still bothering you. It's still in your head, but it's like there's nothing you can do about it. You are shutting this out. You are closing up. You are putting up a wall. You realize there's nothing you can do about it. You are... Again, I feel like this is happening via text for some reason. I don't know why I'm, I feel that way, but I feel like you are going to sort of like um, throw yourself into your work or or uh, things that make you happy. The Wheel of Fortune's here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius? Ooh. Ooh, Aquarius, this is strange. This is really, this could be work-related with the Ace of Coins here, but um, it looks like, looks like you have something, some sort of, you're showing up, a uh, water sign's showing up, and an earth sign's showing up. And you guys, the three of you have something going on, and it's financial. It's saying to have strength. This could be family members. This could be... 
Um, Leela, that's too loud still, honey. This could, it could be coworkers. Hopefully you guys aren't getting fired or something. Let's keep looking. Maybe you guys are going into business together. I don't know. We'll see. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising 4, the Full Moon in Virgo. If you're thinking about a reconciliation with the fire sign, it's not going to happen. You guys aren't even going to argue. You're just going to move on. I see you just focused on your money. I see you getting over it very quickly in an argument here. Is this argument because of these other people? I, I bet this is the, the group of people, guys. I bet you're going to have some sort of like argument at work. Something you don't see coming that will be illuminated. Yes, literally, that's what it is. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. I think you're going to have some sort of um, chaotic situation happen at work between coworkers. If it's not that, if you're not working or you work for yourself and this makes no sense, this could be family. Aquarius. Moving on, I you're blocking people out of your life. You are done. There's a manifestation here that you and a water sign were working on together, it looks like. If it wasn't together, you, you guys both had the same ideas and didn't even know it. There's a bridge that needs to be burned here. You will end up single. Please be careful. It's saying you may end up um, not feeling well just because of um, tension or stress, like getting an ailment from it. I'm seeing something lymphatic um, or blood related. Aquarius. Let's let's switch decks actually. Oh, I do see money coming in again. That's good. Aquarius, what else do they need to know for this full moon in Virgo? For Aquarius. Some sort of imbalance, so you're moving on. Finances, again, looking really good. Finances, finances, finances. That's the goal, I guess, right? Looking good. It's looking good for you. I don't think this is going to happen with the full moon. I'm sure this is going to take place, you know, probably throughout. But, but even still, it's going to start it. Full moon for Aquarius. Feeling like a wounded warrior, wanting to be alone, feeling unappreciated, pre unappreciated. Um, but again, when it comes to your money, I feel like you're heading in the right direction. You will be able to put money away. I still think there's some coworkers that don't like you, Aquarius. I see them like sort of like talking shit behind your back. I'm also seeing rare coins. Hmm. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the full moon. Somebody's watching a documentary. I think somebody at work is going to cause you some issues, Aquarius. Please be mindful of it. I, please be mindful. They might, you know, be saying things behind your back or they might be causing issues. They might be um, not telling you the full story so that you don't know what you're doing. I don't, I don't like it. Beware of a, it looks like a coworker. If this is not a coworker, it's somebody that knows your financial, you know, personal life. Could be a person at home. It could be a you know, very close friend, but I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it. Let me get you a, just a couple more cards and we'll end it here for Aquarius for the full moon. Aquarius, full moon. You are done fighting with people on this full moon. You are done. You are so over it. You just want happiness and bliss here. You want to be single. Use your intuition. 
Again, you use your intuition because you've got those three people here again. Well, I guess you, it, so it's you, a water sign, and an earth sign. Amazing. I love when the cards repeat. Why is there a tower moment for Aquarius? It's the same people. And it has to do with your finances messages Aquarius I hope you know who these people are I hope that you are able to avoid it I hope that you know they don't cause too much drama for you but whoever this resonates for I am so sorry <laughs> and good luck on that full moon